Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Um, about 10 minutes in Twitch chat, we got it to work. Uh, we had to find out what the right console command was. Apparently, there's a console command called Control L. Yes, it's Control with an extra L on the end. And it works. Basically, it flips a siege from whoever whoever currently has it, which was Naples, and it flips it to whoever you are playing as. So we're playing as Athens. It'll flip it to us. It's Control with an extra L at the end, and then the province ID. So we did that for 159, which is Silistria, and it now says Controlled by Athens. Okay, good. Anyway, welcome back. This is episode 7. I'm sorry for the raging in the last couple episodes. I'm just frustrated with some stuff. Uh, remember, this is a relatively new mod. It is probably the most popular mod for the entire game, but um, it still has rough edges, right? Nothing is perfect. Anywho, that console command gave ownership to us, so we can now annex them uh, with the proper amount of aggressive expansion. It's going to be uh, 22 aggressive expansion over Bulgaria, Moldavia, Serbia, uh, Byzantines, and then lesser amounts other people. Okay, good. Yay! And now we can release them as a vassal. Done. Yay! Bulgaria. Oh, and they did keep Ceres, even though Ceres is Greek. Interesting. Okay, so now Bulgaria is Hellenic, and he'll have to spend some time uh, converting all, this, all these provinces. But that means we don't have to do it. That's fantastic. And I, I'm going to calm down a little bit here. I'm glad that we got that done. I really appreciate Twitch Chat's help. And that really is one of the main advantages of being a streamer, is I don't think I ever would have figured that out on my own. I would have just raged for a bit. Uh, we probably would have done uh, a white piece or a vassalize and then use the console to annex the country. Uh, but thanks to Twitch stream, you guys were able to help me figure out what command I needed to crisscross it the proper color. And that was a really weird bug. I've never seen that bug before. Okay, good. So we're done with that war. We've released our vassal. We're going to lose our extra diplomat. I think it's going to be the Wallachia guy, but I don't know. Let's see. Do we lose Agapios Toko? Do we lose Anastasios Plethon? Or do we lose Constantinos Rendis? I don't know. When you're at war, you get a third diplomat. You get an extra di diplomat for free. But then as soon as your war is over, you lose that extra diplomat. So let's see who we lose at the end of the month. Uh, oh, vassal government. As our vassal state, we can adjust Bulgaria's government to suit our needs. Appoint a governor. We get um, extra taxes, but it increases his revolt risk. I don't want that. I want him to be converting provinces, and he can't do that if he has revolts all the time. Put a family member on the throne. Uh, he'll get... He'll lose stability, but he'll get someone from my dynasty. I don't really care. Uh, let's just let him keep his high stability. It'll allow him to convert things a little easier. All right, so which, which diplomat do we lose? We lost the middle guy. Okay. Anastinos, or whatever his name was. Good. Yes, congratulations, Twitch chat. I mean, that's that's the big difference between playing a game on your own and playing a game in front of people. There's 349 people watching right now. Um, and during the 10 minutes that we had a break time there, when we figure out the console stuff, we had like, I don't know, a couple hundred comments. So people were helping out quite a bit. Great. Uh, pretty soon we'll be able to annex our vassal, Thessaly. Uh, but in the meantime, we're over our relations limit. Our ruler has a trait called Hawk. Every ruler in Veritas at Fortitudo mod has a specific trait. This guy gives us diplomatic relations minus one, but he raises our force limits by a little bit. I don't really like this at all. For me, diplomacy is far more important than you know one extra ship or one extra soldier. To me, the extra diplomatic relations is more important. But, oh well, what are you going to do? I can't complain about a ruler with 555. This is this guy's amazing. I mean, he, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this guy. I, I can't, I can't uh, find a flaw in him. Uh, but we are pretty much at our limit on admin points. So why don't we go ahead and tech up? And now we are able to pick our first idea group. So... Uh, why don't you guys take a take a look at what is available 
and tell me what you think would be useful. I am fond of army ideas, uh, diplomatic ideas, and administrative ideas. But we don't have to choose one of those three. Why don't you guys tell me what you think would be useful, uh, and we'll talk about it uh, maybe between the next episode. Okay, let's continue on. We're now at peace. And I think we're going to remain at peace for a little while. Having Bulgaria as our vassal is fantastic because we can feed them one, two, three. We can feed them five more cores. Two from Serbia and three from Byzantium. That's fantastic. Oh, and our coalition has grown, by the way. Our coalition is now Venice, Byzantium, Naxus, and... Well, I guess that's it. Just Venice, Byzantium, and Naxus. Yeah. But it is a little bigger than it, than it was before. That's what she said. And hopefully we can get relations up. Maybe we should go for enemy of enemy to get Venice out of our out of our hair. Milan, no, I can't do it. His, he hates my ally Naples. That's a problem. I can't help you there. Oh, but we can get uh, we can get the Golden Horde to like us a little more if we rival the Ottomans. So let's rival the Ottomans. There you go. Nothing personal, Ottomans. I don't dislike you, but um, I do like the extra relations with the Golden Horde. In fact, uh, if I can, I want to get in the Golden Horde's pants. He won't take a marriage. Uh, we can get relations up a bit. Why not? Vassal benefits won. Our vassal Bulgaria gains additional tax, production, and manpower thanks to being our vassal. Now, the reason this is nice... No, we don't need a marriage. The reason this is really nice is if you keep a vassal for a long time, and we... We might keep Bulgaria for a hundred years, who knows? If you keep a vassal for a long time, you eventually get more and more benefits, which means they can field a larger army, they'll give you more income, and you know, it's just, it's useful. Uh, the highest I've seen is vassal benefits three, which was for owning uh, a vassal for a hundred years. We might keep them around for a while, because they're pretty large, and I'm sure they can field a decent army. Whereas Thessaly, I think we're just going to annex him as soon as as soon as the option becomes available. We're just going to annex him. But yeah, I think now we're going to spend some time at peace. So just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the wonderful Veritas music. What's playing now anyway? Land in sight. This is generic music from the regular game. How are we on force limits, by the way? Uh, we're a little over on the navy, and we're a little under on the army. Well, why don't we build up our army a bit? Let's get a couple cavalry. In fact, get me three cav. Because we don't have any cav right now. Almost done coring a dirn. Very nice. Fantastic. We'll keep that. I was thinking of selling it to Bulgaria, but I think we'll keep it, and uh, we'll use it to fabricate. No, we don't need to fabricate on them. Hmm. But we can use it to fabricate on Bithynia and Constantinople. So yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll keep it so that we can fabricate on um, these territories across the Sea of Marmara. All right. So the the Aegean Sea here is very unique. Well, no, it's not unique. It's it, it's similar to the Gulf of Venice, as in there's a lot of provinces that border this one sea tile. It's a very, very special place that allows you to fabricate claims on tons of land. Same thing with the Aegean Sea. There are, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen provinces that border this one sea. And you can fabricate claims on all of them. So useful. Anyway, we're going to use uh, Edirne to fabricate uh, on the Gulf of Mamara, Sea of Mamara. Oh, I'm losing my voice. I was upset during that war. So upset. But everything worked out. Okay, war exhaustion is going down. Good, good. How much does it cost to get stability up? 666 points to get stability up to zero. It's too expensive. So we're going to let our war exhaustion go away. Uh, we're going to let our overextension go away. Core those now that the war is over. And what else? Bum, 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 bum. Religious unity. Yeah, well, that's going to take some time. 
So in my Yap playthrough, and Yap we were converting a lot of territories to Catholic and also, was it totemism or animism? It was animism. So we were converting provinces to whatever our religion was, and you eventually get these pop-ups saying, uh, you know, the land wants to convert back. The people, the people thought they were going to accept your religion, then they said, no, we're not going to accept your religion. And that seems to be... Well, it seems to be problematic for us here. And basically, people in Twitch chat are telling me that I should force them to accept our religion. Uh, and that will stop them from flipping back. The problem is, in the past, when I was playing Yap, people told me the opposite. And, and, and yeah, people were telling me, just let them flip back and forth, and they'll eventually, you know, stick. Um, and it worked out pretty well in Yap. But Yap was a very spread out, strong empire. And Athens is the exact opposite. We're small and weak. So what people are saying is if you're small, it's better to force your religion on them. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. Next time we get one of those pop-ups, we'll try forcing the religion on them. Uh, and we'll see how well that works. All right, we're at max relations with the horde. Enemy of enemy, allied to rival. I really wish we'd get an alliance or a marriage with the horde. Anything would be nice. Because we can't marry anyone. We can't marry anyone over here. We're in the pagan group. Hellenism is, you know, it's, it's so different from Catholicism and uh, Islam that we can't do anything. We can't marry anyone. It's just too different. Now might be a good time to go to war with Serbia. And I know I said I want to stay at peace for a while. And I do. But if we go to war with Serbia, we can feed our vassal Bulgaria. Ah, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. The reason I was saying now might be a good time is because he's currently at war with the Ottomans, but it looks like that war is going nowhere. It's a rivalry war. Yeah, it's going nowhere. Alright, what can we do with our diplomat? Diplomat. Diplomat, diplomat, diplomat. Uh, well, Lockie is at 100. Hmm. Kandar likes us. Oh, Mentesi's gone. Mentesi's gone. Mentesi does not exist. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Let's spend a little bit of time getting relations up with the knights. They don't like me right now, and they have a mission to kick my ass. See here? Restore the Duchy of Athens. No, we're, we're a kingdom, bro. <laughs> but yeah, he has a mission to kick my butt. Hmm. Oh, our cav has finished. Great. But yeah, let's get relations up with him, see if we can... There we go, religious upheaval. So this is what I was talking about. When this pop-up comes, it means that you've converted them to whatever your religion is, but they want to go back. So you have two choices. One, you let them go back, or two, you force them to convert. And it says this province will be in religious turmoil for 20 years. We're going to force them to convert. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm sure that'll increase the revolt risk, though. Religious minority, harsh treatment, convert province. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen there. Oh, we can take a new mission, finally. Save the people in Euboea. Improve relations with Thessaly. Achieve religious unity. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. The relations with Thessaly will happen maybe in a few years. What are we at right now? We're at stage three integration. When we hit stage five, I think it, I think it's stage five. It automatically bumps our uh, relations to 200. It's just automatic. And that, that allows you to annex your vassal. Um, save the people in Euboea. That'll give us a claim on Euboea. Mm, not sure if that's a good idea. He's in the coalition. No, because our navy can't fight Venice's navy. So no, I don't want... Yeah, these missions suck. Screw you, missions. You're terrible. We could do some buildings. What's available? 
some docks. Well, we will need docks eventually. Because uh, upgraded docks will give us higher uh, force limits for our navy. Hmm. And the Ilkhanids continue to collapse. It's a very slow collapse. Sogdiana, Kiva, uh, Ar Ar Arachosia, Arachosia, the Chobanids, Armenia, Elam, the Jalyarids, Kurdistan, Akkoinlu, Iraq. All these guys have split off from the Ilkhanid. This was all Ilkhanid at the start. But it's a very slow collapse. They're not, you know, they're not weak. They're still potent. It's interesting watching them fall apart. Oh, there we go. Religious upheaval. Although our missionaries reported that the people of Thessaloniki have converted... Nope, they flipped back. Oh, shit. Better put our army up there. So what what, what are the rebels going to be? Probably five rebels. 70% chance that we'll get five rebels. Okay. Yeah, we can deal with it. Yep, we got four rebels. Oh, cool. Not quite as bad as it could have been. And they're dead. We're going to have 20 years of just rebels popping up now and then. God damn. We're almost done coring these two provinces from Achaia. Good, good. Ragusa has collapsed. They're now a noble republic. It doesn't matter. You're a vassal of Venice. Doesn't matter. Hungary's improving relations with us. Good. I don't want to lose that alliance at any cost. We need to keep Hungary super duper happy. Alright, let's come back from Serbia. And go back to Naples, please. Naples, please. Naples, please. How's the whole doing? Pretty good. And our cores are in. So everything is core. Yep, everything is core. Uh, the one problem we have is religion. <laughs> out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of eight provinces, we only have one that's the right religion. I mean, we're working on it. <laughs> it's just not happening. Carmenids are improving relations with us. Ooh. Yeah, we may want to start looking at someone who would help us when we start fighting the Ottomans. We haven't really fought them yet. We went to war once, but we haven't really fought them yet. But we're going to need someone to help us fight them. Carmenids might be that guy. Or maybe Rum. No, definitely the Carmenids, because the Carmenids have a vassal over here. Carmen is more useful. All right, we'll work on that. Uh, we're working on the knights now, aren't we? Well, we'll be done with Naples soon. As soon as we're done with Naples, we'll go kiss kiss the Carmenids. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, England has declared on Scotland. He's fighting Scotland and France. But Sweden did not help Scotland. Oh, really? Sweden. <laughs> Why would you not help? But they got their alliance back. Kiss, kiss. Yeah, these missions are terrible. Ah, the knights have stopped embargoing us. Good. Man, I 
really wish we'd get this alliance, marriage, anything. Come on, Golden Horde. Why you gotta be neutral? Why you gotta be so neutral, brah? Oh well. Let's see, what's up in chat? The point is to spread Hellenism. I agree. Oh shit, another revolt in Thessaloniki. Zeus is a kinky bastard. Well, I guess. How's our exhaustion? Still three. God, boosting stability is so expensive when you don't have religious unity. That's why it sucked to uh, have our capital fall, because we lost two stability. And that, that really wrecks us as a nation, losing stability. Mm, it's just, it's too expensive to even think about getting stability back. It's 546 right now. It's just too expensive. Uh-oh, Ottomans went to war with the Pope? What is this about? The Papal Siena Trade War. Why is the Ottomans involved? Why are the Ottomans involved in the Papal Siena Trade War? Because he's allied to Venice, and Venice took over leadership in the war, didn't you? Yes, he did. Why are the Ottomans and Venice allies? What the actual fuck? The Ottomans, Austria, Modena, and Siena. I get Austria, Modena, and Siena, but why are you allied to the Ottomans? And why is my legitimacy at 33? Holy crap. Negative stability. So negative stability is brutally destroying our legitimacy. Oh, fuck me. Wow. It goes down by half a point per year. That's insane. Do any of these give me stability? None of these give me stability. I need stability. Fuck. Fuck. I need stability events, essentially. Alright, let's go work on the Carmenids. Petition for redress. Lose prestige or kill some rebels. I'll just kill the rebels. You know what we do need to do? We do need to fabricate more claims on Byzantium. We should go for... Uh, these two. Bitola and Strumica. And Moria. Ooh, Hungary's at war with Halich. But he hasn't rivaled Halich. Darn it. Halich Conquest of Bresk. Oh, big war. Well, lots of people involved. What is it? Munster, Mecklenburg, Holland, Utrecht, Brabant, and Gelray. What is it for? Munster, Lunenburg, Punitive War. Oh, God. Oh, look at Lunenburg go! Lunenburg has a coalition! Ah, he's fighting his coalition. That's hilarious. That's a very shitty coalition, though. Pact with the devil. No way. No way. Alright, what's up, chat? Let's see. I'm going to use the word in English. Blah, blah, blah. 546 for stability. Wow. Yeah, indeed. Where where art thou, stability? Indeed. Where, where are you, stability? I wish I could get an event for stability. At this point, I would just eat the stability cost, but that's just you. Well, we could. I mean, it's not the end of the world to eat the stability cost. The problem is stability is getting cheaper and cheaper as we go forward. As we convert provinces and as our war exhaustion goes away, it makes stability cheaper. I can't... I don't want to pay to make war exhaustion go away because it's too expensive. Um, but stability is going to get cheaper as our exhaustion goes down to zero and as our religious unity gets up, goes up.
All right, bye, BD. Well, no, no, stability is not overrated because it's currently tanking our legitimacy. And legitimacy, low legitimacy means we have more revolt risk. Our general died, that's okay. 50 tradition. Mm, yeah, get me a general. 5-1. Not bad. I would prefer a 1-5, but whatever. Because our units have no fire. So that 5 and fire is really not doing anything for us. <laughs> Might as well be a 0-1. Oh, what happened? Poland started the second Polish reconquest of Danzig against the Teutons. Yeah, the Teutons are losing a war right now, so that makes sense. Oh, Naxus is no longer embargoing us. Interesting. Why would you change your mind, Naxus? Support Greek patriots in Venice. We could. Uh, but that'll flip to uh, Byzantium, I think. Let's see. Does he have revolt risk? No, he has no revolt risk. Hmm. Well, we could try it anyway. Uh, let's come back from the Carmenids. We can try that. I don't think it's available, though. Yeah, there are no rebels to support. Sorry. Byzantium probably has rebels to support. Patriot, Patriot, Peasant. Nope. Byzantium doesn't have any rebels to support either. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, you need you need admin tech five. <laughs> we have admin tech one. Supporting rebels requires technology in this mod, which is kind of nice. It's interesting. It's different. Yeah, Rhodes is making thirty three ducats off of taxes. How? He has a base of two, but he's getting 33 ducats of tax out of it. That's amazing. Whereas I have a base of four, I'm getting 2.6 ducats out of it. <laughs> OP much? Are you OP much, Rhodes? Yeah, if you want to watch uh, a Knight's campaign, go to Kaelvin's channel. He's got a campaign as the Knights. I mean, they are just ridiculously overpowered. I mean, I'm sure it's fun. Let's see, what kind of rebels can we support? Oh, that's right, we don't have the tech. Now, we could go for this alliance with the Carmenids, but it might be a little premature. Let's we'll keep getting relations for now. When's our truce up over here? Uh, next year. Well, why don't we do that? Why don't we focus on beating up uh, Byzantium while he still has... Oh, he's in the coalition. Shit, I don't want to fight the coalition. Can we get Venice out? I think we have to try to get Venice out. Let's do enemy of enemy... Bavaria? Sure. Lots of people hate Bavaria. Alright, take out... Serpia? Well, who hates Serpia? Nobody important. All right, take out Serpia. Put in Bavaria. Uh, let's get relations up to positive where they'll leave the coalition. That would be nice. I just don't want to deal with Venice again. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, we should go beat up Byzantium because we can still feed them uh, more land to my vassal over here. And we could attack Serbia as well. How many troops do you have, Serbia? Like 15? Serbia. 15, yeah, 14. His limit is 9, but he's at 14. I don't know how he can afford that. My limit's 10, and I'm just barely scraping by. 
He's getting 12 ducats out of Kosovo. Holy shit. Oh, it produces lead. Lead is very valuable, apparently. Oh, wow. We should go take that province. That province is a fucking gold mine, or it might as well be. Even without a claim, I'm willing to take that province. That is worth so much. War exhaustion almost gone. Yeah, war exhaustion's almost gone. Yeah. Serbia's a good target. Wow, look at that. Byzantium's making, like, no money in their capital. He's getting almost nothing from taxes. Byzantine decline. Oh, wow. Poor Byzantium. Do we have claims? We have no claims on Byzantium. Oh, I should probably go do something. Well, no, we can just use it to flip land. And how are we with the relations here? 52. And I might as well keep a diplomat there. But let's get out of Serbia. That's a waste. Naxus and Genoa. Naxus and Genoa. Alright, our capital has converted. Great. Let's move on to Arta. Uh, but yeah, this will be an opportunity for us to go kill Naxus. So let's do that. Uh, come here, dock up. So Genoa, how many ships do you have? Really? There he is. Six ships. I think we can take that on. Probably. As long as we group up all of our navy. Oh, and Hungary took a province up here. Good for you, Hungary. Now, would Hungary help us in a war against Serbia? Say yes, Hungary. No, he says no. I kind of want Hungary to join. Because they would just destroy Serbia's northern area. Maybe we need to let them go uh, heal up, lick their wounds for a while. Okay, Athens has converted. And we're going to have to rival Serbia again. Uh, Venice, did you leave the coalition yet? No. Darn it. Okay. Rival Serbia again. Arta is converting. Good, good. Now that is the third time we have converted Athens to Hellenism. Three times we've converted it. I really wish it would just stick. So stability now costs 400 points. 400 points. It's, oh, it's tempting. It's very tempting. All right, come January, we're going to leave the Knights alone. I think we're going to declare on Serbia. January here go. Come back from the Knights. Alright, but we're going to call this an episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, it's very peaceful, but I do think we have a decent plan here. We're going to attack Serbia and annex Naxus in that war. And we're going to take these three provinces from Serbia. Maybe Kosovo? But definitely these three, because Durez, uh, our vassal has a claim on it, so we can sell that to our vassal. 
And then these two we have claims on, so we can just take those for ourselves. Uh, and Kosovo, I would love to do that. Look at that base. Look at that income. My god. But that'll have to wait till next time. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you then. Have a good day.